Hey guys, welcome back to my backyard garden. Well, this week has been a great week. The weather has been fine. We are getting cool nights, great fall weather, and warm days. But when the fall comes, it brings visitors to my yard. And I've had some night visitors. I'm really going to have to get me some cameras and put out here and see what is coming. One of my friends, I can tell from what's happening, that it's the deer. Let me show you what they've done. The deer came last night and as you can see, they have eaten a lot of the sweet potato leaves. And I had said in uh, some of my earlier videos, the only time we have problems with them is in the fall and winter. And fall is here, I guess. <laughs> After we came out and seen that the deer had been nibbling on our trees, we put these cattle panels around them. And so far, so good. Haven't seen them. They must come at night after dark. But they come and enjoy our yard. Well, it's time for me to get these red potatoes out of here. Uh, they were some that uh, had messed up, so I had planted them kind of late and I didn't expect to get too much but I felt like if I got anything something was better than nothing so that's what I'm doing here is digging these potatoes up even have to dig for the potatoes they're right on top waiting for me to get them I got that area cleaned out. I got a few potatoes. I think I'm going to leave these sunflowers here a little longer because I have seen the birds eating them and these are so small I'm not going to do anything with them. So I'll let them sit a little longer. Now these are red potatoes. This is what I got. Uh, I'm pleased with them because uh, that was about six uh, red potatoes that had gone to waste. Uh, they had shriveled all up, couldn't do anything with them but throw them away, so I decided to throw them in the ground. And I did learn something from it. Don't throw them in the ground. I didn't realize that tree was going to shade that area so much, but it did, so I will have a different place for that and my corn next year. So we learn, but 
I'm still happy with the little potatoes that I did get. That's my last white potatoes. The next is the sweet potatoes to harvest. I don't know whether you've ever grown. These are mini sweet bell peppers. I just picked this one. They are the sweetest pepper. Now, I don't particularly care for eating uh, bell pepper raw, but these are delicious. They are great little snack when you're out in the garden. Or in the house. <laughs> mm. This is a squash that I planted the first time this year and I'm loving it so far. This one's still green. This one's just about ready for me to harvest. This is the first time I've planted loofah and they are getting larger. Hopefully it's enough time for me to get some large ones. Well, I hope you have had a great week and putting up as much as you can. I am trying to put up as much and hope that I'll have enough to get me through the winter. I'm looking at the prices going up and also they keep threatening that we're going to have a real cold snowy winter. So if that's true, I don't want to have to go out the house. So it's been so nice this summer. Uh, going out to my garden and getting food for dinner and not having to go to the store. I, oof, I don't think I've gone to the store in quite a while. I've been eating dinner for sure out of my garden for three months and that is such a great feeling. <laughs> so I hope um, all is doing well with everyone. This is Lady P from my backyard garden. Until next time, peace and love. I'm out.